Okay, we're going to talk about changing a condenser fan motor out when we go from an OEM three-wire motor to a replacement motor that happens to have four wires. Sounds easy enough, but a lot of times it's a uh, it's a confused issue with some guys, and we get it wrong and end up having some wiring issues. So we always have wiring diagrams. So I'm going to show you on an actual fan motor, but I want to start with the wiring diagram, and then we'll come back to it. Right here we have the normal three-wire OEM motor. That's what we would have right here. So if you notice, typically it's a three-wire motor because we have a dual cap, meaning the compressor and the fan both use the same cap. So because it's a dual cap, we only need one wire going to the cap. That's the wire from the fan motor. That's the third wire. The other two wires on the fan motor go to the contactor here and here. Okay, when we go get a replacement motor, we tend to get a lot of times a four-wire motor mainly if it's a universal motor. If it's an OEM motor, might be the same. If it's universal, and a lot of times it will be, it's gonna have two extra wires for the cap and it's gonna have the wires for the contactor. So let me show you actually on the motor how we would go about doing it and then we'll kind of go back to the graphic. So if this is my, my bad motor, this is my OEM three wire bad motor and I get the blade off without damaging it, of course, I always want to do that because I'm going to need that on the new motor. I've already determined my RPM. I know what I need to buy. I found my new motor. Now before I replace the motor, I need to know where the wires go. One of the wires goes to the cap. It's going to go on the, on the dual cap. So we're going to get that off, get that out of the way. We would be done with that cap. The other two go to the contactor. I can take those two off, leave the contactor in place. Now I can get this motor out of the way. I'm done with the old motor. Let me bring up the new motor. I get my box with my new motor in it. I can get the motor out. With all new motors, we're always going to buy a new cap. So we're going to buy the right fan cap for the new motor. This cap's going to stay in place with the compressor wires. We're not going to touch it again. Now we've got our new motor and our new cap and our contact that we got to wire up. When we look at our new motor, it's got four wires. Two of the wires are always going to be brown. Might have a white stripe on it, but it's going to be brown. This is a no-brainer. These two wires go straight to the new cap that we bought. Doesn't matter which side of the cap they go on, as long as they're on opposite sides. Okay, we're done. Those two wires are done. Now we have two wires left on our new motor. These are the wires that are going to go to the contactor because we're through with the capacitor. It stays in there. It's going to be doing the compressor, but we're done. We've already moved our fan wire off. We're done. Now we simply go back to the contactor and we hook up the power wires to either side of the contactor just like they were before. The only tricky part about this contactor hookup is there's always a black wire on the contactor. Almost all the fan motors have one black wire. The other wire is going to be red or it's going to be white or it's going to be one of those other colors. As long as we get our black wire back on the right side, which is going to be the common side of the contactor, and then we move our other color wire on the other side, we're going to be fine. If we're not sure, we can get a schematic out and look. So we've got it hooked up. We're done there. Let's go back to the graphic and we'll finish it up. So our, this is our original motor with our three uh, wire cap, our dual cap. We've unhooked the fan wire off the cap and then we're done with that cap, right? Sitting over there, we're done. It would still have two wires hooked up to it, but we're not going to touch it anymore. We've taken our motor out. We've unhooked it from the contactor. Now we've got our new motor. Here's our new motor with our four wires. Here's the two that went to the new cap. It was that simple. Wired them straight up. Here's our other two that came over to the contactor. We put our black one back on the same place on the contactor. We moved, in our case, we moved our white one where the red one was because that's the other side. Now it's hooked up, it's ready to go. It's not hard to change from a three wire to a four wire. Pay a little attention, it'll go good every time.